I'm Vice President Biden, Senators, Congressmen, Ambassadors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Fáilte over Fad, you're all welcome. It's a great pleasure for Fanula and I to be back here in Washington, D.C., and I'm particularly delighted to be back at the Kennedy Centre for the Gala of Ireland 100. Irish America, and indeed all of those who aspire to be of its gene pool, can enjoy three weeks of the very best of our arts and culture. As you may be aware, I come here today as the, as the leader of a new partnership government, a government unique in the history of our country. And though of political, politically different persuasions, we are united in our ambition to have Ireland's economy and our society prosper. And we want to put compassion and fairness back at the heart of, of our policy. We're also anxious to establish our art and culture, not as an elegant add-on to what marketeers would call our national offering. Rather, we wish them to represent us as the essence of who we still are as a young republic, but an ancient people. And the next three weeks here at the Kennedy Center are not just about entertainment per se. Rather, Ireland 100 gives audiences the chance to consider Ireland in its complexity and its history. Increasingly, we live in a world of spectacle, one of instant reaction, where our response is published to the world before we have time to absorb, never mind reflect. In any city in the world now, Washington included, you will see visitors walking around with the iPads held up in front of them. Instead of living the moment, they have outsourced their experience to a piece of technology. And instead of seeing with their own eyes, instead of listening with their own ears, they are recording their action, implying that for them, the moment, however precious, is already over. They consign the present to the past, making it something to be revisited as a technological remove before they've actually lived it in person. That's the difference with the Irish, is we like to live those moments, because the best recording is the one you bring with you in your mind. It was Picasso who said that art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. I believe that the arts, particularly Irish arts, with their exquisite moments, have the capacity to bring us back inside ourselves, back into that place where we can feel anguish and grief and joy and all the, the feelings that we have, where we can regain that sense of self, the self that maybe through the roles that we are forced to assume in life, to which we might have become strangers. I actually believe that it would be impossible to listen to Colm Tobin, or Colm McCann, or Anne Enright, or Ivan Boland, and not make that journey, not make that inward journey, that sometimes disturbing trip back home. And tonight, we have with us here a man who epitomizes the joy of life, the courage to put up with the challenges of life, with the sorrows of life, and yet a person who's loved not just across America, but right across the Western world, and who in a few weeks will be coming home himself to Ireland. Joe, you're going to get one hell of a welcome, believe you me. So will, you will see that what your mother and your grandmother said, that the Cae the Mila Falsha really means that. 100,000 welcomes. So be ready. <laughs> and it seems to work both ways, because the welcome that we have got here in Washington has been simply magnificent. 
as magnificent, in fact, as the work and the planning that went into the Ireland uh, Gala 100. And this evening, therefore, I would like, on behalf of our people, our country, to thank Helen Henderson and David and Alice Rubinstein and the many sponsors, and to thank Deborah and her team here at the centre, and, of course, a special thanks to Anne Anderson and all her staff down at the Irish Embassy. They've worked so hard on this project over the last two years, and I really am thrilled to see it come so well together, and I'm sure it will leave outstanding memories for all those who will visit the Kennedy Centre here. Also, I want to thank Fiona Shaw, one of Ireland's most distinguished actors and directors. Wait until you hear her read 1916. She will direct tonight's performance and will serve as the festival's artist in residence. So this, as you know, is the centerpiece of our celebrations in the United States to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Easter Rising of 1916. The centenary celebrations at home have been thorough, comprehensive, sensitive, and inclusive. And our people have learned a new way of looking at our country, at our flag, at our nationality, and who we are as a people. So it's appropriate that our global program to commemorate that centenary should focus on the United States, since our proclamation of a republic, our independence, drew so deeply upon your declaration. The proclamation contains one clause that refers specifically to our exiled children in America. Those same children being the grandparents and the great-grandparents of many here tonight, including the Bidens and members of the Kennedy family itself. Five of the seven signatories of the proclamation had spent periods of time, some considerable periods of time, here in the United States. So it is an honor to be here as America commemorates their sacrifice and celebrates the freedom and the story of Ireland over the last 100 years. We are commemorating not just their sacrifice for Irish freedom, but the story of Ireland itself over the last 10 decades. One month before he died, President Kennedy went to Armhurst College to receive an honorary degree and to honor Robert Frost, who had honored him by reciting at his inauguration. And in that speech, President Kennedy said to his audience, I see little of more importance to the future of our country and our civilization than full recognition of the artist. When that comes to Ireland, I agree. Our gala this evening features some of the very best of those artists. I know that they will amaze you. Thank you for celebrating with us. Thank you for your friendship. I wish all of you and Ireland 100 every success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.